Hi everyone, this is Joy. And this is Charlotte. <laughs> Say hello, Charlotte. You're not going to. Shy. <laughs> She's being shy today. And I'm, well, I'm James, obviously. And welcome to Mission Connection. And today we do so we're going to do something fun. We are going to do the quiz, How Well Do You Know Japan? And my daughter, Colleen, is going to be She's over there. our compere and to see how well we know the country of Japan. Now, this I've I don't know anything about the questions. These this has just been um, ones we're going to be picking. It, it was see. just a random Google search Japan quiz. It came up, so we're doing it. Yep. Um, so there could be any questions, and I'm probably going to get most of them wrong. Charlotte <laughs> will probably get more right than I will, um, but we'll see what happens. Um, so I guess we should do a buzzer. No, no, no. We'll just... Buzz. We'll, no, we'll no, just, buzz. We'll just see how we go. All right. Okay. Colleen, fire when ready. Okay. <laughs> Question one. Japan is made up of islands. Very obvious observation. How many islands does Japan have in total? A, is it A, 6,852, B, 380, C, 6, or 4, 5,431? Um, I'm going to say A. I'm going to go B. The, B was the 300 and something? 380. Yeah, three, I reckon about that, yeah. I mean, C is obviously wrong, because obviously there's more, there's more than six. There's more than six. Definitely more than six. Ah. <laughs> uh, Oh gosh, I have to click. I have to tap on these. Uh, should I put in mom's answer or dad's? Just answer? put in an answer. It'll, it should tell you the wrong, the correct. Okay, answer. the correct answer was A. Yay! A. Five thousand eight hundred and fifty-two islands. That's a lot of islands. Most of them have names, but also most of them aren't inhabited. That's, exactly. that's a lot of islands. I, 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 I watched Joey the Anime Charlotte, Man's see, video. I told you. you. You thought it was A, didn't but, you? Yeah. Let me see that video, haven't you? Joey the Anime Man, he's quizzing a bunch of YouTubers yeah. about Japan. Okay, come that on. Was one of Next the question. Come on. Okay, keep I, going. I've got I to gotta try and get one right before the night. What is over. a traditional Japanese inn called? One, an onsen. Two, a ryokan. Three, a capsule. Or four, a hanok. I mean, two of those are obviously... Well, it's not wrong. onsen or capsule. What was B? <laughs> uh, the Orkan. Wow. I think it's B. What about me, Mum? Uh, I think it's B, too. Yay! I know. Well, she says it's B, I must I know what it is. And it is indeed B. Yay! Yay! You got one right, Charlie. Yes, yeah, the Orkan is an in. in, 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 in. Yeah. Mm. Thank you. I got uh, one I right. I wish we had a way to keep school. Uh, no, no, it's all right. We're, we're just having fun. Don't worry about keeping score. Keeping, keeping score, score makes it no fun. We all know Tokyo is the largest city in terms of population, but what's the second biggest? Kyoto, Osaka, Yokohama, or Nagoya? Ooh. Mm. <laughs> I want to say Osaka straight up, but I'm not sure. I'm going to say Osaka. All right, mother. I'm going to go see Yokohama. Oh, there you go. It's it probably Yokohama. Yeah, Yay! Go. Again, it's the same, same question in that video. So and that's hopefully saying. that's where we're going to go to one of these days. Ah, that's what. Number four. Japan's total population is approximately 127 million. But in which Euro but which European country is similar in size according to landmass? Oh. To landmass? Yes. Oh. oh, no. A, France. B, Germany. C, Spain. Or D, the United Kingdom. I think the United Kingdom's smaller than Japan. Yeah. France, I think it'd be too big. Germany's too big. Spain. Spain. Yeah, I'm thinking Spain. Spain. Because I, I yeah. think I think you're not. Although, hey, you said United Kingdom. Yes. Mm. Not just England, mm. but the. No, I'm still going to go United Spain. Kingdom. Okay, mother. Spain. It was Ger oh, it was Germany. It was Germany. Oh, it was actually Germany. I guess that's because of all those tiny islands. And yeah. It doesn't seem that big until you combine oh, them all together. Never mind. Oh. So far, mum's winning. <laughs> you have two points. Dad has Charlotte's won. got them all right so far, so she's Of winning. course. No. Oh, yeah. Number five. Before Tokyo, Japan had several other capital cities. What, which is the most previous capital? A. Hiroshima. B. Osaka. C. Kyoto or D, Fukuoka? It's not Fukuoka. I know this one. I know this answer. Hiroshima? 
What about you, Mom? Kyoto. Uh, it is indeed Kyoto. Oh. Yay! <laughs> I guess the easy way to remember it is like you just switch it around. Tokyo and Kyoto, yeah, yeah. basically the same letters. And it's quite an old city. Mm. Mm. Well, Kyoto was the capital for a long time before it got replaced with uh, Tokyo. Mm. So, mm. Or Edo, as it was previously known. Edo. Mm-hmm. So far, Mom was... That's only got oh, okay, one. fine. <laughs> we don't have to keep blaring now. <laughs> Ah. I have the power to stop this button. Number six. How tall is the iconic Mount Fuji, or Fujisan, if you want to be pedantic oh. about it? Fujisan. Is it A, 3,776 metres, B, 3,776 feet, C, 2,893 metres, or D, 2,893 no, feet? Well, I don't think either of the feet one is correct. Oh, I hate I'm going to go with I'm gonna go, A. She's going A. I'm going C. All right. It is A. Yeah. Yay! I figured as much. <laughs> I figured it was probably A. Oh. Okay. Few original, and it's in quotation marks because a lot of these get reconstructed over time, castles remain from the Edo period of 1603 to 1868. How many still exist today? Oh. Is it A, 8, B, 12, C, 19, or D, 23? No idea. So I only know by Himeji Castle. 8, 12, 19, and 23. Yep. I mean, it's... Let's go with... I'm going to really lash out and go 19. Okay, and what about you? I'm going to go with eight. Oh, it's 12. Oh, no. ah! Ah. I thought it was eight as well, but no, it's 12. Oh, that's not yeah, bad. Yeah, believe it or not, some of them haven't been hit by Any um, sort of enemy disaster. fire or lightning. Natural disaster. Yeah, yeah. or just anything, really. Mm. Uh, eight. Kyoto is famous for its stunning geisha, but what does the word geisha actually translate to? Oh. Is it A... Person of art, B, doll performer, C, woman of art, or D, woman of dance. Mm. If you know what a geisha traditionally did, I think it'll probably help. I have an inkling, I think I know what it is, but I haven't checked. Well, why did you say woman of dance? But I think it might be woman of art. Well, we're, uh, geishas were traditionally entertainers. Yeah. I'm going to go with woman of dance. Uh, do you follow? I wanted to go something different to try and get a point ahead, but I want to go woman of dance too. It is person of art. Oh, <laughs> I thought one, it was woman of dance too. The one I was going to go for, it was actually the... I thought no. it was... I should have gone. We all thought it was woman of dance. Mm. Oh, well. I don't know, did geishas actually dance? Maybe. Number eight, uh, number nine. Japan is an up-and-coming hiking haven, but which of these timeless walking trails is over... 1,000 years old. Ooh, that's an old walking track. Ooh. Is it A, Kumono Kodo, B, Nakasendo Way, uh, 3, Shim, uh, Shimana, Shimanami Kaido, or uh, D, Shin, uh, Shin, oh, they spelled it, Shinetsu, uh, Shin, yeah, Shinetsu, right, oh, Shinetsu Trail. I'm going to go with C. They spelled it really. I'm going to go with D. So I want to be different. I feel like it's C, but we'll see. Oh, it's Kum, it's Kumano, it's Kumano Kodo. A. Yeah. <laughs> I, I remember because like uh, Borja Japan made a video. I, think I didn't think it would be what, either B or D because that one ended in way and that one ended in trail. And I didn't reckon either of them would have that in their name. I so. thought it was probably Sh- Shimanami Kaido because I remember uh, a Borja Japan made. I think he made a video about that in Nakasendo, but I guess oh, well. none uh... of us were right in that one. Oh, well. That, that, that's like something that not a lot of people would probably know outside of people that go hiking. Yeah. Mm. Well, I mean, also, I, know, I feel like it's just a fun fact to know. Yeah. Okay, number 10. What is the top operational speed of the Shinkansen, a.k.a. the bullet train? Ooh. Is it A, 200 kilometers per hour, D, uh, two, uh, B, 260 kilometers per hour, C, 320 kilometers per hour, or D, 400 kilometers per hour? All right. I don't believe it's 400. Yeah, it's not that fast. I think but it's C. I think it is C. I believe it can hit. I three. think it is also C. Yeah, I'm pretty Let sure us... three hundred is 
320, so yeah. Let us see. Let us see. It is, <laughs> it is indeed C. C. Yay! Yay! Would you look at that? Dad got it right. Now, I'm pretty sure that they could do over 300, so. Yeah, mm. I, feel, I feel like I heard 320 somewhere. Mm. Number 11. Japan is renowned for its incredible food. Which mm. city is nicknamed the Kitchen of Japan? Ooh. Is it A, Osaka, B, Kobe, C, Fukuoka, D, Nagasaki? Well, I'd like mm. to say it's Fukuoka, but I know it's not. I'm going to go with A. Osaka. Osaka. Osaka, mm-hmm. yes. You know, that was my gut, gut call. My brain just went Kobe because of beef. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Because Kobe beef song. That is a good point. I'm just going to guess Kobe. I'm going to go with Osaka. Okay. It's probably going to be Nagasaki. Osaka. It is Osaka. It is yeah. Osaka. I was no. wrong. It isn't Kobe. No, known as Daidokuro. Mm. Number 12. Which quintessentially Japanese dish actually originates from Portugal? And this is oh. another one that was on Joey the Anime Man's video. I think it mentioned a food okay. that was unless well. was from another country. Is it A. Sushi. B. Okonomiyaki. C. Ramen or D tempura. I know. I think ramen was originally from China. I the noodles, I yeah, the, the noodles and ramen. I'm gonna go from... tempura. Yeah, it can't be sushi. I I I doubt it's sushi. I think it'll be tempura as well. Yeah, I think it's tempura. All right, D tempura. It is Yay! 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 While a lot of you can't see what's going on right now, just down here we can see this little bit of movement and stuff happening around. Dog. The dog is just off the screen and she's going really stupid. She's enjoying this time just sitting on the couch with us, but she's also enjoying the fact that she's hiding from the camera. Okay. Okay. Number 13. Which sacred animal is known for wandering through Nara Park? I feel like everyone knows this answer. Oh, this one. Everyone should know Literally, this Literally, just, just say the answer. Everyone knows one. Is that deer? Yeah, Shika. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. Need, I don't even need to read out yeah. the other three. It's pretty obvious. Uh, yeah, deer. It what is what deer. were the other answers? What were they going uh, with? Gazelle, red squirrel, and horse. Well, I suppose gazelle close, but red squirrel. <laughs> that's a that's a random yeah, one. No, the red squirrel. I imagine a bunch no, of uh, imagine a bunch of horses wandering around Nara Park. Mm, yeah, deer yeah. sounds much better. Yeah, yeah. The gazelle deer and red squirrels aren't even indigenous to Japan. Yeah. The deer also just aren't that big. No. Imagine they're, they're, they're small horses, deer, yeah. Imagine horses walking around. Yeah. Mm. Number 14. Hokkaido's red crowned cranes are iconic. In which part of the island can they be seen all year round? Is it A. Shiretoko Peninsula? Number 2. Kushiro Marshland? Number 3. Akanashu National Park? Or 4. Or D. Nice try, it's not in Hokkaido. Oh, <laughs> uh, I think they. Um, oh, I've got, I've got no, no idea. Right no now. idea. I'm gonna go with A just because I can. I'm just thinking D for the funnies. <laughs> it's good answer. I like mm, D. It's tricky. I mean, so, it'd be weird if the 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 Hokkaido's red, you know, red. It could be one of those on. tricky ones. Mm. It could be a. I'm just gonna sit with D. What about you? Okay, Mum said B. Uh-huh, B. Uh-huh. Oh, well, that was right. Cushion on marshland. Yay! I mean, it makes sense. Cranes are water birds. Yeah. Exactly. So that does make sense. I don't know why I picked the I just thought it was funny. It was a great answer. I loved it. Uh, answer. Okay. Number 15. In which prefecture can you find the hot spring bathing Japanese macaque, a.k.a. snow monkey? Is it A, Ishikawa, uh, B, Kagoshima, C, Okinawa, or D, Nagano? I feel mm. like I think my, I know what the answer my, is. My brain needs to work. I, I've heard this before. I've, I've seen videos of the monkeys. Monkey. <laughs> I want to have a hot spring. Um. No, not <laughs> those ones. You would boil. Oh, yeah, yeah. You would die. Oh, uh, what? Well, my mum wants to see this area, mm. so I'm saying uh, D. Nagano. Yeah, that's dad? what Do I was thinking. Do you Nagano too. the I, answer? I, I was. I was going to Nagano with that quick answer, yeah. Uh-huh. Well, are you going to Nagano? I'm going Nagano. I'm pretty it. sure it's in Nagano. And it is, indeed, in Nagano. Yay! <laughs> in which region would you find the city of Sendai? I mean, if you are a an avid watcher of Abroad in Japan, you should know the answer. Mm-hmm. Is it A, Honshu, B, Chugoku, D, uh, C, Tohoku, or D, Shikoku? 
They sound so similar. I know, right? <laughs> uh, Tohoku is a prefecture. Shikoku is also. Awesome. Shikoku and Honshu are islands. Yeah, are the big boy islands, right? Yes. So boy. I would say Sendai is part of Tohoku. All right, what about you, Papa? I'm going to listen to this one because i got no idea whatsoever. <laughs> it is indeed in Tohoku. Yeah, right, right, right. I thought Shikoku, but then I was like, Tohoku, probably. I was right. Yeah. Yeah. Ah! Okay, um, so I have to show you a picture. Oh, we get to see a picture. Oh, we're getting a Can visual. Can you identify this famous Japanese castle? Ba 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 ba. Oh, yeah. I know it. You probably can, but I can't. I don't know. Well, go go with the names now. All right. The names we have available are as follows. A. Matsumoto. B. Osaka. C. Fushimi Yagura. And D. Odawara. Well, it's not B. <clears throat> I don't think it's called Osaka, Osaka Castle. Osaka Castle? I didn't know they had a castle. No. They do have a castle. Um, I'm going to go A. A. Matsumoto. I've, I've seen pictures of this castle, but I only know Himeji by name. It is Osaka Castle! It is Osaka. <laughs> what? I did no! not. No! Of all the castles oh, I've shame. seen pictures of no! and heard, I have oh. not heard of one called Osaka Castle. I oh. haven't either. That's crazy. <laughs> That's tr- that is pretty cool. Is it in Osaka? I am though? sad. Oh, but it has to be if it's called Osaka <laughs> Castle. Oh. Alright, similarly. Another picture. Garden. Can you recognize this garden? Oh, oh, that's it one in the middle looks... of the city, a bit like Central Park set up in New yeah, York. Yeah, it, it does, does look like it? it does indeed Ooh. look like that American city that you know. Um, I think Central like Park in New York parade around. Yeah, and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we have Odori Park, Sapporo, Ueno Park, Tokyo, Minno Park, Minno, or Sakeen Garden, Yokohama. I think it's. Hmm. I only saw the Tokyo or Yokohama. I'm just going to guess Tokyo because I it kind of looks like Tokyo. I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be a rebel and go Sapporo. All right. Uh, I'm gonna, hang on. I'm going to go with, uh, I said Tokyo or Yokohama. Uh, I'm going to go Yokohama just to be different. It. Oh, Odori Park, Sapporo. Yeah! Oh, that's right! <laughs> it is in Sapporo. Uh, I already knew I recognised it. I thought it was Ueno Park. Uh, I got, well, well, <laughs> we know, we clearly know nothing, Dad. We clearly no. know nothing. <laughs> I know as much as the dog. If he, uh, in which Japanese town would you find this Buddha statue? And it was, is this the big giant? It's bronze. <gasps> oh, it's the cop- bronze. Big, big copper statue. Oh, so it's not the big super duper one. It's not the super boy, no, oh. not the big boy. It's not the one in Fukuoka. Oh. No, that's it's not that. No, the wind. biggest one's like 120 yeah. meters, I think. So that's just yeah. the bronze one Something. going green. Uh, the options are as follows Gifu, Kamakura, Nara, or Harajuku. Wait, it's Harajuku's not a town, though. It's a street, so it's probably not mm. Harajuku. Uh, like, I, it's, a, it's a district in Tokyo. I think it's sure. Kamakura. Kamakura. What do you think? I'm going to get A, whatever A was. Um, a was... I'm just going to pick Nara because I, I have literally no idea. Kamakura is the uh, correct answer. Yeah, ding, 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 ding. It's known as Dobutsu, Big Bora. Big boy, yeah. Number 20. Since w- uh, when did the beloved Studio Ghibli Museum in Mitaka open? 1998, 2001, 2003, or 2007? Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. So, no what is that when Studio. When, no, no, when, when the, the museum, museum opened. opened. I'm going to say 2003. Um, uh, 1998. I'm, I'm also thinking 1998. 2001. <laughs> We're all wrong. I just picked it because it's my birthday. Mm. Oh. Here we go. Another picture. Can you identify this bamboo forest? I'm pretty sure this is. I've seen that picture. Oh, many I've times. seen this a million times many, as well. Many, many, many but can times. I name this? No. <laughs> the options are as follows. Number one, Aokigahara, which it's obviously not Aokigahara, easily because it's not. I'm pretty sure Aokigahara is not a bamboo forest anyway. Uh, B. Tadasu no Mori. C. Ogasawara. Or D. Arashiyama. <laughs> Uh, I've seen the picture a million times, but I don't know. Um, well, I'm A gonna, is obviously I not. I think it's, it's D. Arishiyama. I'm going to go B. Uh, yeah, Tadasu no Mori, maybe, because it's like, it says something no forest, uh. so. 
Arashiyama. <laughs> Why does mom get all the good guesses? <laughs> I don't know. But no idea. Because she's smart. Finally, can you identify this Japanese city in this picture? Ooh. Oh, it's got to be... Perceive with your eyes. Mm. Ooh. Oops, it's gone blank. Ah, it looks... I don't know. Ooh. Um, mm. Mm, sure. All right, come on. Mm. Well, we have four options here. Nagoya, Kanazawa, Hakodate, or Kawasaki. I don't think it's Kawasaki. Uh, it has a it has a replica of the Eiffel Tower. It looks like in the picture. Mm. What what was the first two again? Sorry. Uh, Nagoya and Kanazawa. I'm gonna go with Nagoya. Um, Kanazawa. Oh, mm. Hakodate, I think Hakodate is in Hokkaido. Yes, Hakodate mm. is in Hokkaido. I think this is Hokkaido. Kawasaki, I'm gonna guess that. It's Nagoya! I win, I win! Oh, no, I, yeah, don't, I don't win. I won that question. I didn't keep track, but Mom clearly but, won. Yes. I, so that was the last question? Yes, it was. There was only 22 questions, and Mum got like. I, I think this person here is the absolute winner. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yes, I am the Shinchi, the Japanophile, the Japanese lover. And this is our puppy dog who got lots of questions right. Yeah. And lots All of right. pets. So, well, uh, we'll actually put the support. link to this quiz and see how well you do. Um, answering all these questions. Well, I mean, they've got all the answers now because they watch the video. Yeah. yeah we know that. So <laughs> yeah. If they just want to try and do the quiz without yeah. sitting there checking back through the video. Yeah. That's all good. True. So we're going to put a link to this particular quiz at the bottom of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, Colleen, for being our compare. And thank you, Charlotte, for not is. being too crazy. <laughs> Yes. And uh, we will be in the Gold Coast um, in a matter of weeks, yeah. um, sure. but we're not going to be doing the whole national conference. And you can watch that video through any of our playlists. Um, so we are going to probably piece together a video on Japanese food that you can get here in Australia, some different ones. Oh. Um, it'll be one we're doing Taking a, taking a good while to do. So thank you guys so much. Please like and subscribe. Hit that bell. Um, our social media is on Facebook and um, Instagram. And we do live feeds from time to time. Yes, we'll probably and, do a few of those from the yep. Gold Coast. Uh, we'll probably do one very soon. Congratulations, Japan, for winning the World Cup in baseball. Um, you guys rock. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. From all of us here at Mission Connections, Jean Martine, and see you next time. Bye. 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 B